Hey guys, if you're ever removing an RV couch and you're wondering if it'll fit through the door like we were, and sometimes it's a good idea to maybe check the couch out, measure it up, see if any of it comes apart so that you can fit it through the door easier instead of just wedging the entire thing through the door, damaging the door, damaging the couch. That's, uh, that's my tip for the day. So we went a little crazy and pulled all the trim off the slide here because A, we hate it and B, we're going to paint it anyways. Um, so it's on the floor here. The other thing we've done is the couch has been detached from the floor and we're going to remove the couch if it'll make it out the door in one piece. Highly doubtful, but we're, we're going to give it a try. And the window balances sure what are balances balance decorative elements on the window that i'm not not feeling so i am removing all of them <laughs> all those um they're gonna come off uh like that one did and then we're gonna build a smaller one that's just on the top to cover up the hardware for the blind uh, the other thing we did is we took the sliding door off the bedroom here. We're probably just going to put a curtain here. Uh, it gives us a little more room to fit a larger bed in because it has a short queen in here now. And Morgan is not a short queen, so... <laughs> I think I just ruined his uh, his take. He might cut me out on that one. <laughs> got the couch out. Uh, we kind of wanted to save it and maybe donate it to Goodwill or something. But after ruining our door frame here a little bit, uh, we decided to just take a sawzall to it. And, but that, that's all we broke was one little part. And I'm sure the fabric's not in great shape from going through the door, but it's out. All right, so Morgan got really excited and carried away with the uh, ripping stuff out of the trailer. So he went so far as to take out the furniture, no more furniture, and the floor. Well, not the floor, the carpet. Took out the carpet. So Morgan now gets to enjoy ripping staples and nails out of the floor for the rest of his afternoon. Are you excited about this, honey? Yeah, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna come back in here in a bit or I'm just gonna be kind of working around him and look over at him and he's just gonna be passed out with his set of pliers. We'll be having a nap with his pliers. <laughs> 